IOPIS is an European project funded by the DG ECHO and our aim is trying to help the emergency teams, European emergency teams or worldwide emergency teams to better manage the emergencies. At this moment, there are some problems when the emergency staff needs to go indoors. So we will try to provide with a solution that allows the tracking of the emergency staff seamless indoor outdoor. And we also want to provide them with an updated maps of the situation from them to know how to reach the area in a quickest and safest way. We have developed at the CTTC facilities a helmet for tracking the rescue team members. The helmet is composed by a camera for doing visual odometry, a GNSS receiver and a computer which is uh, made with a Raspberry Pi. It also has a module for communications and for sending the information about the position to the uh, central station. Um, the way it works is basically tracking the GNSS uh, signal when the rescue team member is outdoors and once the rescue member enters in a collapsed structure where the signal is, GNSS signal is not present anymore, the system switches to the solution base in the visual odometry, which is done with the camera. In the IOPIS project, uh, we bring as Atonet uh, an innovative technology, uh, which is uh, a mobile private network to provide the local connectivity to the rescue teams and uh, uh, mission critical uh, special forces. And um, uh, this technology is provided in the form of a rucksack, so in the form of a, a portable solution that can be installed in vehicles, can be used in any uh, public safety uh, scenario for the rescue teams during the operation. And this technology can be easily and uh, in a very flexible way integrated and uh, uh, can interwork with uh, all the other technologies of the IOPs project, making the full ecosystem very appealing for the market. The Sarai platform is a flexible and proven platform for crisis management. Used mainly as a coordination tool it provides first three responders with a toolbox to build the common operating picture. The Icelandic Public Safety Consortium uses the SARI IMS platform for communication and collaboration between all first responders in Iceland, allowing for resource and task management in a collaborative effort. In total, there are over 6,000 first responder users on the platform. The main feature in the SARI system used in the field test exercise is the tracking module. The tracking module can accept any GPS input and deliver the first responder location on a map for real-time location and also historical analysis. One unique feature of the module is that it offers altitude analysis in addition to the traditional latitude and longitude positioning. In CAD UAV, we are working in the Opus project in creating maps. In order to create them, we use UAVs in order to take hundreds of images from the air, and then we merge all them together in order to create a high precision map. Uh, in order to get those images, we use fixed wing UAVs that allow us to have a really high endurance. We can fly with electric systems up to two hours, and with the fuel engine ones, we can fly up to 24 hours. In order to create these maps, uh, we use a specific photogrammetric software that can create those maps in less than 30 minutes. So this allows us to have a really fast response for emergency situations. Scarabot Technologies is offering a high performance drone which is capable of lifting heavy weights but if you're not using heavy weights, you can fly for about an hour. For disaster situations and first responders, we offer the capability to have a flying eye 
in the air all the time. While the drone is in the air, you have the possibility to get all the footage that the drone is producing live and you could produce a photogrammetrical reconstruction of the ground and generate orthographic maps out of this, basically live. Now the project is ending and we work to give the project uh, a continuity. So from the five technologies of the project, three of them are already available on the market and we will work to bring the other one also to the market. We will work how uh, to reach the emergency staff and how to improve the solution that we've been working on in order them to be really capable to use them easily and safety.